2024 is now underway and we're in a completely different market than where we were last year. Today I will be revealing some new developments in the Las Vegas real estate market and what you can expect this year. Stay with me to the end of this video because I'll also be sharing with you my personal predictions as well as home buying tips for this coming year. Now let's dive into it. No matter what part of the real estate market you have been on, whether it's selling or buying, you have heard the term low inventory. And when it comes to new construction, you might have found it challenging to find a new home that meets all your needs as well as checks all your boxes. I want to start this video off by talking about a new construction community that is for sure going to check all of your boxes. This brand new community is bringing 561 single family homes with beautiful views and a ton of upgrades. This new community is called Ascension and is located in Summerlin just south of the 215 Town Center Drive exit west of Tropicana. Ascension is going to span 261 acres and is in a prime location in between the Summit Club and Mesa Ridge. Historically, both of these communities are very prestigious and exclusive to live in, so Ascension is going to fit right in as one of those top multi-million dollar luxury communities. The location of Ascension is going to put you right in the middle of entertainment options like Red Rock Casino as well as Durango. Along with these new casinos, you're also going to be in a close proximity to Red Rock National Park, downtown Summerlin, and multiple golf courses. You'll be able to find two different home builders here in Ascension between Toll Brothers as well as Pulte Homes. Each of these builders are gonna offer three different communities for you to choose from. Two of these communities are gonna be single story floor plans up to 4,000 square feet, and the other community is gonna be two story floor plans up to 5,000 square feet. Now, if you really think about it, that's a massive amount of square footage for just a single family home. And in Las Vegas, we're limited in home sites that have this much square footage, which makes Ascension a very unique community to purchase in. Toll Brothers and Pulte have created new homes that combine modern as well as contemporary home designs. I have clients that I'm currently working with right now who have their eyes set on Ascension for their dream home because of the uniqueness of the community. From a price standpoint, homes in Ascension are gonna be in between 1.5 million all the way up to 3 million once everything is completed. Now this is gonna depend on how many upgrades you put in the home, but when it's all said and done, you can expect prices to be around here. When purchasing any new construction home, it's important to remember that these homes are gonna include a lot premium, structural upgrades, as well as design studio upgrades. Also keep in mind that not all appliances are included in the purchase of new construction homes unless you purchase an appliance package at the design center with the builder. You will typically have to purchase your own refrigerator, washer, dryer, as well as window coverings. The last part that's often forgotten when it comes to new construction homes is the backyard. Typically when you buy a new construction home, the backyard is gonna be delivered to you unfinished with just dirt. So with that being said, you need to be mindful about your budget when you're considering what options you have when it comes to building out your backyard. Ascension is gonna be a 24 seven guard gated community that has a dedicated line for residents as well as visitors. This extra level of security is gonna allow residents to have all guests vetted and approved before they enter into the community. It really is designed to feel extra luxury and exclusive living here. The amenities here in Ascension are highlighted by a clubhouse, outdoor pools, pickleball courts, walking trails, and even a fitness center. They even have an EV charging station as a part of the amenities for those of you who have electric cars. Ascension is gonna be that new community that's potentially gonna take the lead in Summerlin as that go-to top million dollar luxury community. If you've been on my channel for a while, you've already heard me talk a lot about getting into a new community early so you can have the highest equity growth and Summerlin West is gonna be that community that you've heard me talk a lot about. This area of Las Vegas has so much new development and growth that it's expanding even further. So much so that even home builders from Los Angeles are buying land here in Las Vegas just to build in this community. Just recently, KB Homes purchased 32 acres of land in Summerlin West and plan to develop new homes. This land purchase cost KB Homes a total of $45 million. KB Homes plans to develop a new community called Alton, which is gonna be a part of the Summerlin West Grand Park District. This community is gonna feature 200 single family homes and construction is expected to begin this winter. KB Homes is no stranger to building in Summerlin because they've been actively building in this community for the last 30 years. Right now, the Summerlin Master Plan community is expected to be completed in 2044. Let's take a look at this map so you can see all the new developments in Summerlin West. Starting at the bottom, you have a community called Red Point, then Red Point Square, then Urban Core, then Kestrel Commons, then Kestrel. The unshaded areas on this map are future developments that have not yet begun construction. When it comes to new construction home options, Summerlin West has the most available new homes in the Summerlin Master Plan community. Something else that I would like to point out is Summerlin Parkway is also expanding as well. This area is going to expand further west with new developments along the Red Rock Canyon for custom homes. You will see custom multi-million dollar homes from popular builders like Blue Heron and Growth Luxury Homes. 
Sunderland West also has new schools being built for the future. Many families at our work would are always excited about Summerlin West because of the opportunities for long-term growth with their equity. With the current future developments and infrastructure over the next 10 to 20 years, getting into this community now is a must to maximize your earnings over time. Summerlin West is very family friendly with a lot of outdoor recreation. This community has a mix of single family homes, townhouses, as well as condos, making it a great investment for multiple budgets. Before I continue, I want you to let me know in the comments if Summerlin West is that community that you would consider relocating to if you live in another part of Las Vegas. Also share with me why or why not it wouldn't be on the list. The next project coming to Las Vegas that you can look forward to is probably my favorite project of them all. This new project is a private guard-gated residency from the Four Seasons overlooking the strip inside the McDonald Highlands Country Club. McDonald Highlands has a reputation of catering to luxury residents who want to have a modern life away from the strip. With the addition of the Four Seasons private residencies, McDonald Highlands is going to have an even more elevated quality of life for luxury residents. The Four Seasons private residencies is going to include two towers with 171 condos and outdoor private balconies. There's also going to be 90,000 square feet of amenities, including a signature restaurant, four outdoor pools, a fitness center, walking trails, as well as spa services for you, your pet, and even your car. There will also be private garages with electric car outlets for each unit, as well as 24 hour security. And since this is a private residency, you can expect private elevators as well as butler and professional housekeeping services. These condos are gonna be two to four bedrooms in between 2,300 all the way up to 8,300 square feet. The entry price point for some of these condos are gonna be $3 million and some of the penthouses go up to as high as 27 million. As an owner of these private residencies, you're also going to have access to the Dragon Ridge Country Club. Living here is going to feel like a permanent stay at a Four Seasons hotel, except you own the unit that you're living in. And if you have family or friends who are visiting town and you want to give them a little bit of extra space, they can easily utilize an accommodated Four Seasons hotel room as their own space while they're visiting you. The Four Seasons private residency is designed for those luxury clients who want peace of mind for an on-the-go lifestyle. You really won't have to leave your private residency unless you want to because everything is locally there and easily accessible. I think one of the best features of the Four Seasons private residencies is its proximity to the Strip as well as the Henderson Executive Airport. The first set of move-ins for these private residencies are scheduled for Q4 of 2025. If you have any additional questions about these private residencies that I didn't cover, please send me an email and I can walk you through the process of owning one of these units. Whether you're new to my channel or been here for a while, let me reintroduce myself. My name is Chris Brown and I'm a real estate advisor with Simply Vegas. My channel is all about helping you find your new home in Las Vegas, whether you're relocating from somewhere else or local here in the city. I would appreciate it if you like this video, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss any new videos and you keep up with all the good, the bad, the ugly about living in Las Vegas. If you happen to be watching this video from your TV, please scan the QR code on the screen so you can stay up to date with all of my newest videos. If you would like to speak with me directly, you can reach out by using my contact information linked in the description below. The 2024 real estate market is changing even more than what you saw last year in 2023. If you're a home buyer here in 2024, it's important to know that the competition that we are seeing in the market is not as high as what we have seen in recent years. From now until about March or April, you're gonna have the highest chances of getting into a new home without competing with so many different other home buyers. And although multiple offer situations are still common in the real estate market, fighting with 10 or more buyers is not. You might be fighting with only about one or two in today's market. If you happen to find a home that's been sitting on the market for a while, more sellers are willing to negotiate because they've likely accepted that their house is overpriced. My advice for home buyers here in 2024 is to get the process started early and remain patient. A lot of times if you're able to wait until homes sit on the market for a little longer, you have the opportunity to negotiate even more with the seller. If you checked out of the real estate market in 2023, you probably have missed the changes that are going on when it comes to mortgage rates. They have been continuing to come down and we see signs that they will continue going down even more in 2024. Mortgage rates ended the year of 2023 at 6.61%, which is right about the same where we started the year in 2023. Rates are being forecasted to drop below 6% this year in 2024. Now that inflation has slowed down, many people believe that the feds will continue bringing down interest rates this year. Something else that you might wanna keep in mind is that in every election year, mortgage rates tend to come down as well. But as mortgage rates continue to come down, it's gonna bring more buyers back into the market, which is gonna increase the competition that you see when you're putting in an offer for a home. With these lower rates, it's very possible that you could be paying more for a home than what you would right now until, like I said, about March or April. 
This is why if you're capable and ready to buy a home, you should get into the market right now versus waiting the next few months to see what happens because you might overpay for a home. And I understand that with rates being higher right now, you are a little bit nervous, but at the same time, you will get into that new home for a lower price than where you would in six months. Traditionally, in any market slowdown, housing is one of the first sectors that is gonna be affected, but it's also one of those sectors that's one of the first ones to bounce back. Many home buyers last year either got priced out of the market or they got scared because of the increase in interest rates. I don't personally see the low inventory issues changing anytime soon, but what I do see is a short-term window of opportunity for potential home buyers. If you are ready to buy a home and are able to buy a home, I highly recommend you starting that pre-approval process early. And the reason being is because one of the biggest barriers when it comes to buying a home it always comes back to financing. You need a pre-approval letter to even have your offer considered. There's nothing worse than that beautiful home that you want that you would consider your dream home hitting the market and you're not even prepared to make an offer. Many people are expecting home prices to come down, but the reality is that's not happening anytime soon. And the reason why this is happening is because home buyers in today's market have way too much equity. And as rates continue to come down, home prices are gonna to continue to go up, not down. Simple laws of supply and demand show you that when you have a low inventory and a high demand, prices are gonna go up. Throughout the year, the real estate market here in Las Vegas is expected to grow in 2024. Lower interest rates are definitely gonna bring more home buyers into the market, and it's also gonna convince home sellers that it's worthwhile to give up their lower interest rate and sell their home. Mortgage rates are expected to drop this year between the low sixes and the mid fives. In order to win in the 2024 real estate market, you simply just need to be prepared. And if you're on the fence about buying, I will reiterate that right now until about March or April is gonna be the best time to get into a new home or a resale home because rates haven't dropped yet. Once rates drop, you're gonna be fighting with a lot more competition. Let's quickly pause so that you can let me know in the comments, what are your top priorities in real estate in 2024? Are you anticipating the market to change in a certain way so that you can increase your chances of buying a home? Let me know in the comments what you think. Now I wanna share with you what my personal predictions are for the Las Vegas housing market. The Las Vegas real estate market was recently ranked the 12th hottest market in 2024. And even though 2023 was on record as the worst real estate market since 2008, we're still seeing an increase in sales. The average home value for homes in Las Vegas is currently $400,000 and the all-time high was around $427,000. I think a large part of this is because so many Californians are looking to relocate from California to Las Vegas. And if you've been in Las Vegas recently, you have probably seen how much things have grown and changed in the last few years. Areas like Summerlin West are going to continue to grow and the longer that you wait to get into those communities, the higher the price point is going to be when you get in. With the Super Bowl being hosted at Allegiant Stadium next month and another F1 race this winter, I think Las Vegas is going to continue to be an attractive destination for people to live. On the sports side, you already have the Oakland A's who have been approved and are moving to Las Vegas and building a new stadium on the strip at the site of the Tropicana Hotel. You also have the obvious signs for an NBA expansion team in the near future. I mean, we just hosted the NBA in-season tournament and I went and it was a great turnout and I think it definitely set up the framework for basketball here in Las Vegas. Another fun attraction coming to Las Vegas is a year-round horror venue by Universal Studios that's currently under construction near Area 15. I think as long as Las Vegas continues to have a better value and affordability as well as taxes, as well as offer a better quality of life, people are still gonna continue moving and relocating to Las Vegas in the future. And as the Las Vegas real estate market continues to pick up as well as interest rates continue to drop, you're gonna to continue to see the market exceed in value. For more videos about relocating to Las Vegas or Henderson, click on one of the other videos on the screen. I appreciate you all watching. I'll see you on the next one.